Today I'm gonna show you guys how to do the zoom through transition inside the Venture Resolve. You guys can do this with the free version. It doesn't have to be the studio version. If this is your first time clicking on my video, don't forget to hit the like button down below. Hit the subscribe button so you can be a part of the family. With that being said, let's hop straight into DaVinci. This is the clip we'll be using. We're gonna zoom through this picture frame right here on the wall. So what you wanna do is you wanna bring the clip that's gonna be at the end of the transition under the clip that you're gonna be doing the transition through. And then this is just the remaining sequence of this clip right here. So we can leave this on the side for now. We're gonna select those two clips, right click, new fusion clip, and we're gonna go into the fusion page. Once we're in the fusion page, it's gonna pop up like this. We're gonna press shift on our keyboard, remove the background. We'll go ahead and delete that. We don't need that for now. We're gonna remove the merge, delete, remove the merge two, delete. We're gonna bring this media one down here below media two for now. And if you press control and scroll your mouse, it zooms in and out of the note tree. So I'm gonna zoom out a little bit. We're gonna connect this media into output to the input of meter out one. Now we can see our image again. We're gonna press on this media one. And we're gonna press one on our keyboard. All that does is bring up the clip that we're gonna be zooming into on the left side. First thing we wanna do is we wanna press shift space. That's gonna bring up our effect transition bar. We're gonna search a planar tracker. We're gonna press add and we're gonna press shift and we're gonna bring that in between media in two and media out one. Now we're gonna go to our specter tab. We're gonna go to tracker, change that point to hybrid point slash area. Once that's done, we're gonna zoom to the part that we're gonna be zooming through. So I'm gonna press control on my keyboard and I'm gonna scroll my mouse so I can zoom in. Then with the pen tool selected, we're gonna select our object that we will be zooming through. It doesn't have to be perfect guys. This is just for the tracking data. Close it. Make sure we're on the first frame. This is the frames right here on the timeline. So I brought it to the beginning. We're gonna press this to track forward. As you guys can see, it put a keyframe because it tracked all the points. Once that's done, we're gonna press shift, take the planet tracker out of that node tree, put it on the side, we don't need it. You guys could delete it if you want to, but I'll just leave it there for now. Next thing we wanna do is you wanna go back to your inspector tab on the planet tracker, press create planar transform. We're gonna go ahead and connect the output to the media in two output. And that's gonna create a merge. Now we're gonna wanna create a background. Go ahead and connect that to the transform planar. It's gonna go black and that's okay. We're gonna grab this rectangle mask. Now, if I fit it, you guys can see this is the mask we'll be working with. So, what I do is you wanna bring this mask to the part we'll be zooming through, bring it up to the frame. I'm gonna go ahead and mess with the width and the height. Zoom in a little bit. If you guys press on this dotted circle too, you could also rotate it, or you could also rotate right here on angle. Then, I'm gonna mess with this border width right here, guys. Shrink it down a little bit. I'm gonna soften the edges too, just a tad bit. As you guys can see, I didn't cover the edges right here, but that's okay. It's because this is not a perfect rectangle. Once you got that done, you're gonna grab your meter in right here. You're gonna bring it right there. We're gonna connect that output to the merge one input. That's gonna create a merge two. Now what you wanna do is in this merge two, go to operator, change that to under. And on this merge one, go back to operator. We're gonna change that to stencil. And as you guys can see, we now have this first clip through that frame, that's what we want. Now we're gonna grab a transform node. We're gonna go to the beginning of the clip. I'm gonna change this back to fit. This clip only has 30 frames, so we're gonna go about halfway. Let's go to like 12. We're gonna add a keyframe on the size. Then we're gonna go to the end of the clip at 30 frames. And we're gonna bring that size up. Before you bring the size up, guys, make sure you select your anchor point and you put it where you're gonna be zooming through. So I'm gonna go to this pivot right here. I'm gonna bring it up to that window. And now I'm gonna change the size to like 40. Now, if we play it back, you guys can see it does in fact zoom through that frame. Pretty fire. Now we're gonna do a couple things to smoothing that animation out. We're gonna press on our transform node. We're gonna go up to the spline. We're gonna select on that transform node. Then we're gonna press right here so we can see the keyframes. We're gonna highlight both of the keyframes, right click, go up to ease in cubic. I'm gonna go ahead and close out the spline. Now, if we play it back, the zoom is way more smoother. On transform, we're also gonna go to settings. We're gonna check off motion blur. We're gonna leave the default settings. And then we're gonna go to merge one. And right before it starts zooming in, so like right here, we're gonna go to blend, bring that to zero, keyframe it. And then right when it starts zooming in, bring that blend back to one. And all that does guys, as you can see, it goes from the picture to the clip that we'll be zooming through. So it makes it a little bit more realistic. And now if we go back to our edit page, we're gonna bring that clip and we're gonna bring it to the fusion clip. Now when we play it back, we have something like this. That's the end of this video, guys. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to hit the like button down below. It's free support, guys. All it does is help YouTube push my videos out to other editors and content creators like you and I. So please hit that like button if you're supporting the channel. Hit the subscribe button. We're dropping tutorials every single week. You don't wanna miss out. 
With that being said, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.